welcome back to my channel, Living Life with Serenity. My name is Char, and today we're going to talk about the Jeep Wave. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. So today we're going to talk about the Jeep Wave. And if you've never heard of the Jeep Wave, don't worry, you aren't alone. Since buying Serenity, I've had to explain the Jeep Wave to several of my family and friends. In today's video, we are going to go over the meaning of the Jeep Wave, the history of the Jeep Wave, the rules of the Jeep Wave, and the types of Jeep Waves. Make sure you keep watching because at the end of the video, I'm going to put on two new decals. First, we're going to talk about the definition of the Jeep Wave. And since I can't memorize it all, I have it right here on my phone. I'm going to read it to you. The Jeep Wave is an honor bestowed upon those drivers with a superior intelligence, taste, class, and discomfort tolerance to own the ultimate vehicle. That is supposedly the definition of the Jeep Wave. And I myself would like to think that definition is correct. <laughs> <laughs> so next, the history of the Jeep Wave. There are three different theories to the Jeep Wave. And no one really knows how it originated. But the first theory is that it happened during World War II. And as the soldiers were driving back and forth with either wounded soldiers or supplies, it was just a way for them to acknowledge each other as they passed by to their next destination. Theory number two is that the Jeep wave happened after World War II. When the soldiers came home, they began to buy these Jeeps. A lot of them enjoyed driving them during the war. So as they bought these Jeeps, as they passed by, it was just a signal of brotherhood and a way to let the other one know that they had been through the same thing. Theory number three is the Jeep wave didn't actually happen until around the 1970s when the Jeep's off-roading adventure really took off. To me, I want to believe in theory number one. Since my dad was in World War II, my heart wants to believe in theory number one, that it happened in World War II as the soldiers pass each other. They kind of just waved in acknowledgement. Now as for the rules of the wave. There's really just an unspoken rule that I found that the younger Jeep waves to the older Jeep as respect. To me, I'm always so excited to wave when I see a Jeep that I really don't pay attention if it's a younger Jeep or an older Jeep. And since mine is a 2018, more than likely, I am the younger Jeep. Now for the types of wave. Either you can raise your hand, if you have your hand on the other side of the steering wheel. If you want to just wave like that, that's fine. You can wave two fingers or you can wave one finger. I typically wave a couple fingers. I like to keep my hands on the wheel. But it's whatever's more comfortable to you. It just depends. Let's go put on a couple decals.
that's all right. enjoyed this video about the Jeep Wave. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, live life with serenity. Until next time, bye!